Hello everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the second video on how to do multi-threading in Cisco device configuration backup. In the first video, we have seen how to initiate SSH connection to Cisco router using Netmico, execute a show run command, store that into a text file. Here we were storing this into a file name with the timestamp and the device host name. Then we have seen how to do a comparison in HTML format using diffLib, which is by default available in Python. And we were making a file. The file name was diff.html. Then we have seen how to handle some of the exceptions in NetMiko, like authentication failed, connection failure and all. So we'll run through this script. And we'll see how to execute all these tasks parallelly on multiple devices and get the output. And here I'll be using threading module for multi-threading. There is another method called concurrent futures and thread pool executor. That is the newer method. I'll be creating another video for that. Uh, for all these IO related operations, like we'll be executing a command waiting for the response all these are not so cpu intensive task we can use multi-threading in multi-threading what happens is the threads will use this shares the cpu time so there will be a microsecond difference which we would not even be able to identify while executing the script but it look like it is executing parallelly uh, but if you are going to do a cpu intensive task it is better to use multi-processing. At that time, each thread will get executed in individual CPUs. So now let us run this script. So this connected to the device and we are able to see the configuration difference. Here I have one reference config available backup.txt it is doing comparison with this config this config and the current config you can see here with timestamp so this config is available only in the backup.conf this i explained in the previous video i'll add that video also in the description and notification now here to do the multi-threading, we need to first convert this into a function. And we can remove this config comparison logic. Because here we are going to do multi-threading only for config backup. So I'll remove that. We can remove even the web browser session as well. So I can delete it from import. Now I'll select all this. I'll define a function here. And here we were passing the device dictionary directly. Now what we'll do, we'll try to pass device. And we will pass that device as our keyword argument and to identify that time difference the microsecond time difference what we can do is here while connecting to the device we will try adding some message so here even we will try getting the microsecond so i'll do a print here connecting to the device and here I'm passing the device for example here this is one device this is a dictionary and if I want to get the exact host name or IP device and 
host. Now if I try to connect to any of the device, it will try to print the host details of that device here. Same way after initiating the Netmico connection, we will do a print here. Why I am adding this is because when we do multi-threading all these prints will come parallelly. So at that time to identify individual devices I am adding separate print here. I think I can take this. And this is also formatted string. Now we will even try to print the device prompt also here. device prompt is just to get the host name we will just try printing that then we are executing show run command so for that also we will add a print here So executing show run in the particular device. Now after that we will add message for saving. Formatted string. saving the output to file and we'll be getting the file name here so we can add that so this we can take and put it here and while connecting it we need to add even the timestamp so I'll give this value as well. So now let us try running this. Cisco backup and I'll give lab CSR. Okay, I can, I just need to give it in this way. Okay, here we are getting the output with timestamp. So connecting to the device, connected successfully, then it is printing the prompt, executing the show command. Now, when we run parallelly also, we can differentiate each device output. Now I'll delete all the previous backups. Now we'll start doing multi-threading so for that first we need to import threading and first i'll write a very simple threading logic where we just execute each device manually i will add one more device here will call that lab ios1 lab 
POS2 and IP is 6162. We'll try executing the backup parallelly on all these four devices. So I'll create multiple threads parallelly. So I'll call T1 threading dot thread and if I click on that and press Ctrl B, PyCharm will take to the actual threading Python file. You can see here, this is for executing the task parallelly. So you can see here there are two ways to pass, pass the task execution. So one is passing a callable object. That means we can pass our this function or we can even do a run method. And here you can see we need to give target and inside target you can see it is a callable object and then we can pass either arguments or keyword arguments that depends on the function we can give the input. So let us start defining that. So inside thread, first we will give target and we need to give our function name Cisco backup. So we need to remove this parenthesis because we are just we are not executing we are just calling that particular function name and then we need to pass the arguments if you want to pass the keyword arguments even you can pass that here by giving quags or you can give args arguments so in our case it is going to be arguments so args equal to that we need to give it in a tuple so first I'll give to lab CSR you need to give the comma because this is a tuple yeah once you have defined this threading you need to start the thread so I'll give t1 dot start and you can see here start will start the threads activity and once you start it you need to give t1 dot join so join will wait for this thread to get completed so let us run this now this will get executed only on one device lab csr after this we'll see how to do this using looping like for loop we'll use so it is getting executed now here manually if i want to add it i can just create it in this way lab ios1 t2 now you can see here both are getting executed parallelly but still there is a minor difference in microseconds because it is sharing the same CPU so both are getting finished almost at the same time I think we need to update the file name here yeah here it is not device that is why we are getting it in this format I'll give device We'll try running it again. Yeah, now it is proper. So 
now we'll see how to use for loop here instead of manually adding the each device So we'll create a device list here. Lab CSR. Now here for each device we will input our device list then earlier we, we were calling that as t1 now what we will do this is a configuration backup task so I will call that as backup thread equal to same method threading dot thread and the target is going to be our Cisco backup function then at this time we need to give device as the input once you do that we need to append all these to another list so I'll initialize another list here is going to be an empty list then backup thread list dot append and so each thread we will append there here before appending we need to give backup thread dot start and once we have everything started we'll have everything available here with the status inside backup thread list so what we need to do is for thread in will be giving this thread list backup thread list and then on each thread will be join doing the join once we finish this we will do a print I hope you understood this multi-threading this is simple like first we need to define a function then we need to give that function name as our target and pass the arguments or keyword arguments accordingly based on the function then start the thread once you start the thread you need to append that into a backup thread list and then using the for loop you need to join everything let us try running this I'll delete all the previous backups so you can see here it connected to all these four devices parallelly but there is a minor difference in, in the microseconds here you can see here 432768 yeah it is getting executed and parallelly now if you want to add any device you can just create a dictionary and add the device into the list that also will get added and executed parallelly and later I'll create a video on concurrent futures which can even consume multi-processing In the next video we will see how to schedule this task 
For example, if you want to run this configuration backup hourly once or daily once, how to do it using schedule library in Python. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand multi-threading basic how to use threading for executing the task parallelly. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.